before LeBron James. Before Steph Curry. And before Isaiah Thomas. There was Pittsburgh's own Chuck Cooper, my grandfather, out of Duquesne University. Born in Pittsburgh and attended Duquesne University, Chuck Cooper broke the color barrier, becoming the first African American to be drafted by an NBA team. Red Auerbach Celtics selected Cooper in the second round of the 1950 NBA draft. He made an immediate impact during his rookie campaign, leading the Celtics to their first playoff appearance in three years and was fourth on the team in scoring. Cooper played four years with the Celtics before being traded to Milwaukee and ended his six year career with the Fort Wayne Pistons. He helped his team reach the playoffs in five out of his six seasons and his lone NBA Finals appearance came in 1956 with the Pistons. In 1974 he was inducted into the Pennsylvania Hall of Fame. Charles Chuck Cooper, the man who officially integrated professional basketball, passed away in 1984 at the age of 57. The Celtics were change agents. They, they, they played an extraordinary role uh, back in 1950 when, uh, when Walter Brown drafted my father. You know, back then there wasn't the, the draft wasn't covered on, uh, on sports networks. It wasn't, wasn't live. There was a smoke-filled room, my understanding, in Chicago. And um, Walter Brown's turn to pick, it was the 14th pick of the second round in 1950. And Walter Brown said, I'll take Charles Cooper out of Duquesne University. And one of the other owners said, you can't take him as color. And Mr. Brown said, I don't give a damn if he strike, poke it out of play it. Boston takes Charles Cooper out of Duquesne University because he's the best player available to help our franchise. And my dad always told me that Walter Brown took a, a tremendous uh, uh, risk when he drafted him. He drafted him when he said nobody else would. Uh, Mr. Brown and Coach Arbach set the tone for the Celtics organization. And then you had players like Bob Cousy and Bill Sherman who uh, made sure that they supported him as teammates. And it's well documented. You know, there's days when uh, my dad and, uh, and Bob Cousy would go uptown to listen to jazz. Uh, when, when my father might have been denied the opportunity to eat at the restaurant uh, with the team or stay at the same hotel or share a cab ride. So to have that type of individual support from guys like Bob Cousy was tremendous. They call them heroes among us. On April 25th, 1950, Chuck Cooper broke the NBA's color barrier when he was selected by the Celtics in the second round of the draft. After a significant basketball career, Chuck returned to his hometown and continued to work towards civil rights. Named director of Parks and Recreation in 1970, Chuck was the first African-American department head in the city of Pittsburgh. Today, Chuck's legacy lives on through a foundation named in his honor and established by his son that provides graduate school scholarships to underserved students. For his groundbreaking impact on and off the court, please join the Celtics in celebrating the life of Chuck Cooper by welcoming his son, Chuck Cooper III, as he accepts today's Hero Among Us Award.